This Chef Lab barbecue wireless meat thermometer makes cooking real easy, more precise and safer, especially when you're smoking, grilling or roasting large cuts of meat. It's a small investment that can seriously improve your cooking game big time. And it helps you nail the doneness each and every time. The Chef Lab barbecue wireless meat thermometers you see here gives you real time monitoring real time, which means you don't have to open the oven or the grill repeatedly, saving you energy and money. You can monitor the internal temperature of the food remotely via the app or this handheld host device. No need to constantly open the lid or the door, which keeps your heat steady and your food cooking evenly. And it's really accurate and completely safe. Now you can avoid overcooking or undercooking your meat, ensuring that you cook to USDA recommended safe internal temperatures like 165 Fahrenheit for chicken. It's great for steaks, roasts, ribs, etc. You know, in the past, my wife used to ask me to cut her meat to ensure it was cooked to her liking. So I did, but it would dry out the meat every time. And I found myself cutting several times to get it to her perfection. Not anymore. Now, when I got mine, I just downloaded the IQ barbecue app. There are two versions, one for iOS and one for Android. Then I charged it. I was glad to see it comes with a charging cable too. So to turn it on, just press and hold for three seconds. So I went to the app to check the settings. This red host is a rugged case. It's well made and it's got a great LCD screen that's easy to read. It shows the battery power of the host too, power of the stainless steel probes and the digital display of the temperature, both internally of the meat and the ambient temperature of your cooker. And there's a tag on the probe that you need to remove for your first use. It reminds you to push the probe into the meat past the notch. The host has two probes that are stainless steel and waterproof with IP rating of 67. You can always adjust up or down with these buttons and turn the volume on or off. The buttons are big and clear and real easy to read and use. When you're ready, you just hit start to cook. Wow, look at that. There's even a temperature graph that you can check while you're cooking. And you can see the black and the white probes. Careful not to touch them, but the steaks are looking really great. So I'm going to close the lid again. It won't be long now. Can't wait. So there you go. I set the alarm and it says the target temperature has been reached for P2, 154 degrees Fahrenheit. Perfect, I will confirm. Now we just got P1. We are 160 degrees Fahrenheit with a target of 165. It won't be long. Perfect. Exactly the way I wanted it. Exactly. And there they are, perfectly cooked. And you can even record your cooking sessions. Now the moment we've all been waiting for. Oh my, that is really, really perfect. Well, that was so good. We're gonna go again with two pieces of lamb and a ribeye, grass fed. Probes inserted perfectly. Let's get to the grill. Mm -hmm. 
so we are perfectly paired. So I want to cook lamb. Good. My wife likes it well done. So let's see. Well done would be 160. And I'm going to confirm. Continue. So let's set up P2 now. Target temperature for the beef. I want it medium well, which is 154. And let's confirm. Great. Continue. I've already put the probe in. Correct. And now P2 is showing internal temperature of 66 degrees. Target is 154 half Fahrenheit. And the ambient in the grill is 189 degrees. And everything looks great. We see our two probes. And let's see, our AI intelligent cooking has a lot of tips here. And there's also a AI cooking video. Lots and lots of information on the app. Midway through, going to turn the lamb. Wow, that looks great. And the black probe. White probe with the beef. Making sure the probe doesn't touch anything. Great. Wow, it's looking great. I do like the alarm setting on the device so that basically when it's done, it will beep. You end cooking and you confirm. Target internal temperature of probe two has been reached. I love the alarm, so I'm going to confirm. Now we just have the lamb to go on P1. Lamb always takes more time. So let's open the grill. And since the beef is cooked, we can take it out and leave the lamb just perfect. Exactly the way I wanted it. Looks like three minutes to go on the lamb. It's an internal temperature of 154 with a target of 160 degrees Fahrenheit. It won't be long now. And the wife loves her lamb and all of her meat well done. She's going to love it. It looks perfect. Success again. And the app is really great, too, because my previous cooks are all recorded there. If I'd like to, all I have to do is hit the repeat button. So, for instance, in previous cooks, if I hit beef, it tells me the date and the time that I started. And total duration for the cook was 5 minutes and 57 seconds. Wow, what great information. So, just a few notes here. It's not for use in water or liquids, meats only. And it's not intended for use in the microwave or pressure cooker. And don't put the probes in the dishwasher. Only use soap and water before and after. The probe is waterproof, as I mentioned, but not intended to be left in the water for a really long time. Of course, during and after cooking, the probe will be very hot, so don't touch it with your bare hands. And of course, keep this out of reach of children. So if you want to take the stress and guesswork out of cooking your beef, chicken, or fish, get the Chef Lab wireless meat thermometer today and enjoy. Until next time, I'm Frank George.